The beautiful continent of Africa has produced quite a number of athletes who have made their marks not only on the motherland, but have gone on to stun the world with their outstanding achievements. From Cameroon legend Roger Miller's astounding displays at the World Cup in Italy in 1990, Nigerian international Austin J.J. Okocha's mesmerizing displays over the years, to Blessed Okagbari, Hali Gabrisilasi's almost total domination of long-distance races, the list is just endless. First on our list is one of the greatest players to ever play for the Egyptian national team. Ahmed Hassan has broken so many records in the international scene. Ahmed is the world's most capped male footballer with 184 caps. He has also played in eight different African Cup of Nations since his debut for the Pharaohs in 1995. He scored a long-range effort in a 1998 final against South Africa to help Egypt win their fourth title. In 2006, he was named Egyptian captain and was voted best player as well as highest goal scorer in the tournament. The Farahs went on to win the next two editions with Ahmed still captain in the last time in 2010 at the age of 30. I love him. I've seen a lot of pictures of him when he's chilling, when he's serious on the field, and he just looks so swagged up. He's pretty young, so yes, of course he can get away with all, all of that. And he's still in his very um, full of energy days. So yes, I love him. He's influential as well. So yeah, if he ever comes to Nigeria, you, you already know I'll sneak in and take a picture. <laughs> With one of the stellar names in the world of athletics, Kenyan-born middle-distance runner David Rodisha, who is the current Olympic champion and world record holder in the 800 meters at the recent Beijing World Championships, comes up next on our list, having won a record three consecutive track and field athlete of the year award at the IAAF World Awards. Although Rodisha missed the Moscow 2013 competition through a knee injury after winning the global championship in 2012, in 2015, he put three years of injury, disappointment, and defeat behind him to win his second world title and re-establish himself as one of his sport's greatest superstars. He might not be in the same shape that saw him produce arguably the finest individual athletics performance. His triumph sent a message to his rivals before his Olympic defense in 2016. Currently, he's, a, he's an Olympic gold medalist and he has a world record in 800 meters and at least he's, he's done so well and when it comes to African runners. What more can I say? He's so successful, yeah. Titled the world's third fastest woman in Africa, 26-year-old world-class sprinter and long jumper with a 100-meter record-breaking time of 10.77 seconds, Blessin Okagbare comes up next on our list as she's an Olympic and World Championship medalist in the long jump and a world medalist in the 200 meters. For an athlete who started out as a jumper and indeed won her first two global medals, a bronze and a silver in the long jump, she does have a high appetite for sprints. In July 2015, just before the World Championships in Beijing, which she lost, Blessing was featured in Nike's Hashtag Africa so Fast campaign, where she talked about her goals and current achievement. Although we will not be seeing Blessing at the 2016 All-African Games, she still holds the best record in Africa for a 100-meter race at 10.79 seconds and says she would like to break the record for the 122.8 seconds for the 200 meters. It's just like the fact that she didn't win gold or win at all or do well in the recently completed Olympics. So, not the blessing is a fantastic athlete. South African midfielder Sifiwe Shibalala, who currently plays for the Kaiser Chiefs in the Premier Soccer League, comes up next. Sifiwe made his national team debut in a friendly against Egypt on the 14th of January 2006, has played the left winger position for the South African national team Bafana Bafana, and also played for local South African team Kaiser Chiefs. The dreadlocked player who grew up in Soweto is humbled about his fame. He says, and I quote, It's not easy to be famous, to be a public figure. You know, I'm a role model. I don't drink. I have to look after myself, he says. The year he committed to saying Shabalala, Shabalala, you would be wondering whether he's playing five, four, two, three. He's all over the whole place, and I like his energy, you know. I like watching him. 